a nice lake na lake to na eta just a water body a nice water body in the el retiro park hello welcome everybody it's a brand new day in madrid spain and today we are going on a group day trip from madrid to toledo and segovia the morning in madrid looks something like this people love to work it's a weekday morning we're right now at the prado park going towards the neptune fountain for our pickup we booked this tour on viator you can buy tickets for this uh, group tour almost in every newspaper stall in the city of madrid uh, and the cost was about 56 or 57 euros each it's going to be a bilingual group tour in english and in spanish the tour company is called the yellow tours the drive to toledo was pretty smooth it took us just 1 hour through the spanish highways Toledo is a very interesting city worth a visit whether it's from a historical perspective or cultural point of view for beautiful views its gastronomy or its proximity to the capital city of Madrid The Alcazar of Toledo is an imposing fortress located at the top of the highest hill in the city Today this is now home to the military museum and the library. De todo el país, and on the right side, you start to see the Cathedral of Toledo, which is the most important in the country. También durante el paso We have stopped for a panoramic view of Toledo. Beautiful. During the pre-Roman period, Toledo was the capital of Spain, and later on, when the Arabs came, they moved the capital from Toledo to far south. And uh, approximately in the 11th century, when the Christians came, they made Toledo the capital again. But later on, another crazy king shifted the capital to Madrid. So the capital keeps changing. It's Madrid so far. The art of Damascene came to Toledo, Spain from Damascus, Syria, and all the other cultures embraced it as well. and since then it has been passing through families and we had the pleasure of visiting one of the workshops where skilled artisans were displaying this craft damascene is the inlaying of gold silver or copper threads into the base of any oxidized steel or any other metal and the patterns are etched with a fine thread that is barely visible and is worked into the rough edges they are learning to make the handicraft there are key handmade next we watched how a skilled artisan was making a good quality sword the quality of toledo still resides in the skill of the artisans and how it is being tempered mainly by the waters of the tagus river nearby the high temperature of the tempering process and the quality of steel makes these swords unique all over the world ask me for the washrooms the first door is men's room and the one in so then here is now we can find all the finished pieces uh, here folks factory tour of toledo was pretty good a lot of uh, displays of swords and steel work made in toledo so we saw the panoramic view of toledo the arab walls then we came to this factory called damaskinaus and next we are going to go into the city center of toledo for a 45 minutes long walking tour No, 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 no. 
We got off the bus over here at Granadal Square in Toledo. We are going to start the walking tour of the city now. Spain's former capital stands as a testament to the country's storied past, a nation where cultures have converged throughout the history. Popularly dubbed as the city of three cultures in its medieval heyday, this is where Christian, Muslim and Jewish communities all lived together and thrived. Although the entire tour group was pretty huge, since they divided us into two groups of English and Spanish, we did not have any issues with the tour group size whatsoever. in the stolen street. The Toledo Cathedral. The Toledo Cathedral is one of the highlighting points of Toledo. This Gothic building was started in 1226 and completed in 1493. And as other many such buildings, it was built over the foundation of a mosque which was previously here. So what do you think about the walking tour? It was nice. A short comprehensive uh, history about the city. Now we'll explore the Jewish quarter of Toledo. Walking at the Jewish quarter of Toledo. During the Middle Ages, the majority of Toledo's Jewish community resided in the district known as La Juderia or the Jewry. In this area, they found a safe haven to work, establish families, and freely practice their religion in one of the region's ten synagogues. Throughout the old town of Toledo, you have these markings. A recent project has sought to honor and remember this significant past by marking out the parameters for the Jewish community. Visitors can now identify the area where the Toledo's Jewish inhabitants once lived. Installed in 2012, the small blue tiles embedded in the pavement and ancient walls serve as subtle reminders of the former Jewish quarter. The tiles show through different symbols the word life written in Hebrew, the symbol of the network of Spanish Jewish quarters reminiscent of a map of the Iberian Peninsula, and the symbol of the menorah, the seven armed candelabra. The synagogue of El Transito was built in 1355 and is one of the most magnificent synagogue in Toledo. We'll just grab a quick lunch after that and then head over to the bus stop where the bus dropped us earlier on in the afternoon to go to Segovia. Yep, that's the plan. Parroquia de Santiago El Mayor. Nice. Historic church with Moorish elements. One can easily get lost in the narrow streets of the old Toledo. It's the real pleasure to visit this authentic Castilian town and the diversity of the architectural styles reflecting the rich history of this city is easily noticeable. For Palestine. 
And we are back at the parking lot. After enjoying in Toledo, we hopped on our tour group bus again and made our way to Segovia, which we'll bring to you in our next video. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Good day.